Hey everybody, this is Donnie from At X Clubs, and today we're going to be boxing. So now that I got your attention, um, this is pretty much what I do. I am going to be talking to today. I want to address everybody who needs to get back in shape in life, and the reason why you should be in shape. You know. Just for this reason right here, I'm 60 years old, I own a business, and I still do some of the manual labor of it. I mean, I do a lot of the manual labor of it, you know? So, um, if you are still working, and you rely on your body to do manual labor, because when you do do manual labor, you are relying on your body. It's very important to take care of your body, and it is important to start working on that way before you start aging. So, you know, if you didn't start taking care of yourself in your teens or 20s or early 30s, now is the time. Do not wait for a good time. Do not wait for a New Year's resolution. I mean, we got an ad campaign going out right now that is targeting people who've given up on their fitness uh, resolution for the new year because they've already failed. They've already stopped going to the gym. Get something you can train at home with. Get a club, get a kettlebell, do push-ups, do something. Um, today, I'm talking to you while I am packing up Deshaun from Detroit's order. So Deshaun, your, your uh, gear is the star of this, uh, of this uh, video right here. This little uh, pod clip, if you want to call it. Uh, Deshaun's getting a fat handle at X Club right here. Beautiful piece of gear. It comes with three five pound weights, two, two and a half, and one, one and a quarter right here. The two, two and a halfs are right here. And, you know, at X. Adex gear is really nice. I got to say that, you know, not just because I make it and sell it and this is my company, but because it actually is good quality equipment made in America. You can pass this on to your grandchildren if you have them or if you want to have them or hopefully you'll pass them on to your grandchildren. Um, I enjoy doing this work. And, and I got to tell you guys that if I did not take care of myself, again, I'm 60 years old. If I didn't take care of myself, you know, throughout the years, I probably would not be able to do this type of work uh, all day long, you know, where I am packing boxes and I'm carrying uh, heavy packages, etc., cetera, et cetera, and I have the mobility to be able to do it and move around and climb through this warehouse. I don't know if you could see everything that's over here, but we have racks and things. Sometimes I got to get up there and climb around because um, that's part of the job. But yeah. So um, anyway, back to taking care of yourself. You know, don't wait until, you know, you get older or, you know, like when people say, oh, wait till you're 30, wait till you're 40, wait till you're 50, ba 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 ba. I'm still waiting for whatever it is you're supposed to be waiting for, whatever happens when you are 30. Um, you know, now, I do have to say, even though with all the partying and playing and everything else I did, because don't forget, I was single for a few years down here in South Florida. Uh, you know, so it's kind of a party area. The, uh, you know, I still tried to take care of myself. I was still always, uh, you know, I'd always try to eat right, even when I was, you know, drinking more than I should at the time or you know, beating myself up. I always worked manual jobs. So it's not like I got worn out from working too hard because really your body doesn't wear out. It's because of the bad stuff you put in your body that causes your body to have the problems. And we can discuss that on another issue, you know, about, you know, eating a little cleaner. I'm not going to, you know, tighten it up everybody's belt on their nutrition, but the main thing is you got to start moving and exercising because if you don't move it, you lose it. And it is very important for us as older individuals that we start taking care of ourselves. Now, even things 
small things to start with, just as um, simple as standing straighter. I mean, if you haven't worked out in 20 years, 30 years, just try to stand straighter. Just try, try to stand with mindful posture as you're doing things throughout the day. Like I always try to stand, you know, with my knees athletically locked, my, my butt is turned on and tight, my hips are pressed forward. I try to keep my abs a little tight and my shoulders packed down to give myself nice position because as a kid, I was very slouchy. And, you know, as you get older, that causes a lot of problems in your neck and uh, in your, the upper part of your spine, which can, you know, or your lower spine too. And it can translate into your shoulders, your hips. And you don't want that. You don't want to be in pain. So one of the easiest ways to start in the fitness is to start taking care of your posture. And that's the very beginning. A second thing that you can do if you have not trained in years, Sorry about the tape being so loud, but if you haven't trained in years, just sitting down into a chair and getting up, up and down from the chair should be, you should practice doing that the same way that people teach squatting. So look at a video of somebody doing a really good squat and just sit down into the chair the same way that you're supposed to squat. Practice that, practice getting up and out of the chair. Another thing you can practice, and it goes back to things like, uh, I guess it was 100 years ago, 150 years ago, Emily Post, the manners, the manners lady, she wrote books on etiquette and manners, and she, you know, used to tell you to sit up at the table, you know, sit on your hip bones, make sure your back is nice and straight, hold your hands supinated supinated means you can hold the bowl of soup that's the easy way to remember your palms are up supinated and hold your hands upward in your lap because that keeps you from externally oh well you'll be inter internally rotating your your humerus which causes see that movement right there and how my shoulder goes forward when you externally rotate it your shoulder gets broader and wider so that's how you want to sit and even practice sitting helps your ab muscles, believe it or not. So, you know, this, these little things, you could start your fitness journey without jumping in, into exercise. You know, you can begin very simply and start developing a habit of practicing these things throughout the day. And that can help you get along, uh, on building your own fitness pro fitness program and building up the discipline to be able to adhere to a fitness program and because if you don't adhere to the fitness programs you're not going to be successful in them you know just training for three weeks isn't going to really make any drastic changes in your body you need to be doing it for three months so you know with that being said these little fitness things that you could practice during the day, getting up, up and out of a chair or sitting down into a chair the way that you're supposed to squat. You can look up those videos anywhere on YouTube. Um, that's, that's one of them. The uh, sitting straight in the chair. So you're going to practice sitting in the chair, just getting down into the chair properly. You're going to sit straight in the chair with your hands supinated on your, in your lap and start walking during the day. You guys can get out and walk and, you know, this is the start of your fitness journey. But anyway, that's all I got today and the time it took to pack Deshaun's box. Tomorrow, I'll throw some other fitness tips out for you. We'll do it again where we'll do a little bit of boxing. You guys thought I was talking about something else, didn't you? Anyway, I'll see you on the platform. I got to tell you what that's about one day too. Peace.